Hello. Thank you for making it here. Yeah? I'm Anjani Njiri from Elevate Image. That is on, you can check us on both on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, to the old members, thank you so much for subscribing. To the new members, you're most welcome. This is a journey. I hope that you're going to find my channel helpful. So today I want to do a very short video about perfumes. This is something that I'm so passionate about because most of my friends and especially the close ones know that I can smell, you know, like I can smell scents miles away. Whether you've not showered, whether you have a good perfume, whatever the case. One of the things that I want to talk about perfumes, there isn't anything that I can tell you like this is the very best and this is not good because perfumes react different with each person so what could be working for me might not work for you and yeah vice versa so that is entirely totally up to you but uh, what I would want to tell you the difference to highlight is most people when you're going to buy the perfumes first of all understand what you're looking for so you have the perfume we have the id trinate and then we have the id cologne and then we have the body splash so the difference in all these four plus more because there are other categories but let me talk about these four the difference in all these is how much or how long they stay uh, like the scent stays on your body so understanding what you're buying the scent you're buying and what the uh, let me use again perfume that you're buying makes you understand uh, how to use it and even how to apply it and how many you know like how many times do you have to make cha cha how many times to go because some of these some of them need just need once because they're very strong and some you might need more than once uh, that is like for the each trinette it doesn't stay for so long it stays for about maybe four to six hours so some of the mistakes if i come into some of the mistakes that we do when you're doing when you're applying the perfume is i think the most common one is too much of it when you have a new perfume, if you're introducing yourself to a new perfume, first of all, the best way to apply it is to apply it like, if you normally do like, you know, cha cha, I don't know, I don't know how many times, you can actually just do like 50% uh, less of what you normally do until you get to understand how strong this perfume is and how strong this scent is. Again, your body, again, is not used to it, so you also don't know, you know, like for me, in my case, I find when I am buying a new perfume, uh, the very first day, it's usually my I just keep spending it around me. So, uh, that is mistake number one. Just try and reduce, and again, some of the oils that you're going to use, you know, like the body oil, the body notions also contribute. So if you're using, let's say, a very strong body notion, you're also the person who uses a very strong, you know, Tronon, you then you have a very strong perfume. All that combination then comes in and you actually do not just smell good. It actually ruins what is supposed to be very, you know, very good. Then uh, mistake number two, I think, uh, now in this case, is where you see somebody at my face, the perfumes. If I use, now I'm using the word perfume to mean all of them. So now, when you apply these perfumes, and you see somebody like this, you know, spraying on, let's say, on the wrist, these are the places where you mostly apply because the pulse is right here and they are the considered one of the warmest places. So the places to apply, if I get into that, is you have the wrist here, here, and right behind the ear, and right behind the legs. When you apply the perfume, and you see somebody going like this, you know, rubbing it, that is wrong. Just, you ruin the whole thing, you ruin the whole scent of the perfume. Because when you understand how perfumes are made, we have the top notes, the middle, and the base note. So in this case, when you talk of the top note, it's that scent that you get immediately when the perfume is, you know, like sprayed. And it doesn't last so long. So it's maybe between zero to 30 minutes. And then after that, that scent will be gone. Then you have the middle notes, which is now what stays depending with the perfume itself, the concentration. So some will go for maybe the whole day, eight hours. Some will go for two to three hours. And then now we have the base notes, which now is what is left. Like, you know, you had a very tiring day. And in the evening, you can just smell something very, you know, far. 
something close to your perfume, but it's not exactly what it was smelling in the morning. Chances are now you're smelling your base notes. So uh, when you start rubbing it, you know, like using your hands like this, you're running the whole thing about it, and even the scent itself just changes. So just leave it and move on with your day. And then mistake number three. I've seen this very common with people where you just get a perfume and for some reason they feel like it's okay to just you know spray in there and then now they they walk into it so number one they feel like you're wasting too much of your perfume and uh, number two what happens is you don't get the whole you know like the whole scent because this is supposed to happen you're supposed to pick most of the scent so that now it can you can retain it throughout the day. So when you say you're walking into it, it's like you're walking into something that has already been diluted way too far. So another mistake that is common is how you store your perfume. So store it in a, like away from night and also in a very like in a dark corner. This way it doesn't happen to degrade over time. And I think you're going to have it for the longest time possible. So it's, uh, I don't have much, but that is what I thought I should share. Uh, about getting a signature scent, which is a question that I've received from people, I feel like it's not about, don't rush. Sometimes before you find that, you know, that scent that you feel like this is me and you want people to recognize you with it, it might take time. And you don't want to spend your money buying something and then you later come to learn that it was a mistake. So take your time, but in the meantime, take your shower and just, you know, use what you can use to smell good. And just to add another tip, that is the final tip, apply your lotion, apply your oil, if possible, before you apply the perfume. It lasts longer than when you apply it on dry skin. That's why most people apply it when you get out of the shower. So I hope that was helpful. Until next time, bye.